Okay, so hello everyone, this is Akshay here and let us resume our tree playlist and today's question that we're going to discuss is right view of a binary tree. Similarly, we will discuss how we can tackle the left view question. But yes, before starting ahead, if you are new to this channel, please like, share and subscribe and hit the bell icon to get the regular updates of our channel. Great, let us proceed ahead. So, हमारे पास टास्क क्या है यार कि हमें एक राइट व्यू देखना राइट तो सब सबसे पहले हम समझते हैं कि व्हाट इज एक्चुअली अ राइट व्यू ऑफ अ बाइनरी ट्री ओके ओके सो लेट अस सी फर्स्ट सम इनपुट एंड आउटपुट सो इफ यू हैव दिस गिवन दिस ट्री 10 20 30 40 एंड 50 सो राइट व्यू इन द सेंस दैट योर आई शुड बी प्लेस्ड हियर राइट and you you need to see that which nodes you can see so definitely 10 would be visible and 30 would be visible right so uh, ये जो 20 होगा दैट विल प्रेजेंट एग्जैक्टली बिहाइंड 30 सो दैट सो दैट्स व्हाई दिस 20 वुड नॉट बी विजिबल एंड शुड नॉट बी अ पार्ट ऑफ आवर आंसर सिमिलरली दिस 50 वुड बी विजिबल एंड बिकॉज़ ऑफ दिस 50 दिस 40 वुड नॉट बी विजिबल बिकॉज़ इट विल बी लाइक स्टैंडिंग एग्जैक्टली बिहाइंड दिस 50 राइट एंड वी आर सीइंग इन द फ्रॉम द राइट हैंड साइड डायरेक्शन सो दैट्स व्हाई द इनपुट इज 10 30 50 सिमिलरली फॉर अ स्क्यू ट्री डेफिनेटली वी कैन लुक 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 अप टू ईच एंड एवरी नोड्स इट वुड बी 20 10 20 30 and for a zigzag tree let's say definitely we can again see to each and every node we can easily see 20 10 20 30 and then 40 from the right hand side now for this tree we can see 20 we can see uh, 10 we can see 20 and due to this 20 we cannot see the 8 we can see 30 because and because of 30 we can cannot see the 40 and then we can see 50 and that is why these four nodes are the answer so i hope we are on a good page of understanding that how the input and output is working so what can we do next so if you remember uh we have discussed the traversal of level order traversal राइट इफ यू हैव नॉट सीन दैट सीन दैट वीडियो तो अभी वो ऊपर फ्लैश अप हो रहा होगा यार आप उसे डेफिनेटली देखो ये बहुत बेसिक है लाइक ये ट्रैवल्सल आपको पता ही होना चाहिए अगर आपको ये ट्रैवल्सल पता है तो मेजोरिटी ऑफ द क्वेश्चंस अगर कोई ट्रैवल्सल के होते हैं तो वी कैन यूज दिस ट्रैवल्सल वी कैन सॉल्व इट बट यस यू शुड बी अवेयर ऑफ इट सो डेफिनेटली वॉज दैट वीडियो बट बट देन अगेन हाँ अलग मे गिव यू अक ओवर व्यू सो वॉट वी कैन डू इन द लेवल ऑर्डर ट्रैवल्सल इज दैट वी पुश द फर्स्ट नोड इन द क्यू राइट and then we get the size of the queue so so the size is here is 1 correct so now we will run a for loop till the size so i less than size i plus was so it will just run one time right so whenever my i hits the last like if i is equals equals to size minus 1 then what i need to do i just need to print the last node of that level right in this level there is only one current node so i will just pop out 10 right and this would be my last node also so i will print 10 and i will push the children and i will push the children right please pause that video and it will make more sense to you that how is level order traversal working here but then again i'm not wasting my time on explaining how level order traversal works but how this question can be solved while using the level order traversal again in the next iteration what will happen since this 10 was pulled out and its next children would be pushed so 20 and 30 would be added in the queue and then now the size of the queue has been changed to what 2 correct then the for loop will run two times two times So now 20 would be pop pull out or removed from the queue and the and its children would be pushed. So children is what 40 and 50, right? And whenever like for this size two, if my i hits the last node, that is i equals to size minus one, then definitely we will add that node in our answer. So 20 is pushed out, and then now we will process 30. 20 is pushed out, and what is and uh, uh, pushed out, and uh, we have added 40 and 50. Now similarly we will uh, pop out the 30 from the queue. And since this is our last node, again it would be included in an answer. So our current answer is ten, thirty, and let's see if other things can be added as well. So in the third iteration, as you can see, this for loop will stop here definitely. In the third iteration, you can see that now the size of the queue is again two, because it has two elements, forty and fifty. So for forty, we will process forty, and we will see that if it has any children, it does not have any children. So again, we'll keep on processing the next element, that is fifty. We'll again remove it from the queue, and again fifty has also no no children. But since this is our last node of this level. Of this size, i equals to size minus one. Then definitely we will add that last node in our answer. And if you see that this is our actual answer, ten, thirty, and fifty. So that is how. This is the first method how we can do this using a level order traversal. Similarly, if you want to uh, do this question for a left view, then what is the change? What is the change that you need to print the first node for each and every level? So the only change you need to do is for each and every for loop, we will just write if i equals equals to zero. You need to uh, print that particular node, and that's it. You will be good to go. I hope. You were able to understand the first approach. Now it is highly recommended for you guys to please pause this video at this moment and try to code this approach yourself in your code editor. So let us resume again in five to six minutes. Okay, so that's the code here, and I have written the exact pseudo pseudo code or exact code of the level order traversal. There is only one if 
statement added here let me give you a quick code walkthrough so since the return type was an array list that's why we have made an array list and name it as p and if the root is now that is the tree is empty there is no node there then we have to return the empty array list and that is what we have done return b then in the level order also we made a queue we add the root node and we keep on iterating we keep on processing a queue until and unless it is empty right so that, that is why there is a while loop here while queue is not empty we, keep, we need to process it so now the first step is that you need to get the size of your current level of your root so that is stored in the len then for this particular len we have a for loop running for len times that is the level that is the length of the current level and we are keep uh, removing out the current node and we are pushing it shielded via using this if uh, to if statement if if statement and just above that we need to also check that if the current node that is you are processing if the last node of the that particular level then you need to add in your answer and that's what we have done so that is it. that is it after the completion of the while loop we need to return the array list which we have declared and that's it what would be the space and time complexity for this approach exactly as the level order travels so we are visiting each and every node so it would be o of n and what is the space complexity that is the width maximum width of the um, tree again you can go back to my video and then make sure that how the time complexity is working so there's been an error let me rectify that so there's a value uh, the name written as node and i have written root everywhere so let me replace that and then we'll quickly compile it great as you can see the code has been passed successfully let us hit the submit button meanwhile while it is submitting we already analyzed the time complexity let us analyze the constraint as well so constraint must be n equals to less than 10 power it because then only that solution is getting submitted definitely so n is 10 power uh, less than 10 power uh, less than equals to 10 power 5 which is less than equals to 10 power 8 and that is why code are getting submitted so if you have used a solution let's say of n square which will give you the time complexity of 10 power 5 plus square this is 10 power 10 and that goes beyond 10 power 8 so definitely you will not get your solution as submitted at that point okay so that's the first approach we have seen for the left and right view traversal of a tree as well so let us see the um, second method that is via using a recursive recursive or recursion as you say okay so what is the need here now now if you if you are doing the recursion then you need to uh, you need to run for a small test case then only hame visualize hota hai ki hame actually mein kab apna recursion stop karna hai ya kab hame kaun se parameters declare karne hai so if you see for this example 10 30 40 and 10 what you see here i need the right right view right so we are at the root where should i go now right or left since i want the right view so i am saying that let's go towards the right right one i will find that this 30 is there and i will print it right and then there are no nodes left no more nodes left in this right direction so what i will do i will go back to my parent corner and i will recur to 20 so i do not want this 20 in my answer but how can we make sure of this because we have already printed 30 how can you make sure that the parallel siblings hai, that should not get printed, right? So that is for that reason we need to make a global variable, let's say a max level, which will initially will be pointing to zero. And as soon as we are pointing, we are going towards the right direction or the left direction. We will do, we will pass one more parameter that is a level that is in the function. We will have three parameters that is root, and then you have uh, what to say a level, right? Which will uh, first you will pass this as zero and at each and every recursive call it would be compared that if, if max level is less than level then only you add it in your answer and update your answer max level equals to level right let me write the pseudocode pseudocode uh, for this question and then we will dry run it dry run it okay so i have written the pseudocode for this problem let us do a dry run for this question so first of all what will what will be passed root will be passed right so function of the 10 and the level 1 will be passed right then what are the next uh, st uh, sequence of st statements that would be executed so first of all max level and level would be compared so max level is already it's a global variable defined as 0 and then the level is now point, uh, passed as 1 so 0 and 1 may concept but definitely 1 is greater right so we will execute the next statements that is present in this if else so first of all we need to add add 10 in our answer so i will just say add 10 what are the next statements so we need to assign the max level again to this level why because i need to record ki hame ek bar answer mil chuka is level pe to hame dusri bar us level ke liye answer nahi chahiye right ye dekhte hain kaise update ho raha hai ah uh, so i will repeat again why we are marking max level equals to level because we know that we have gotten an answer for this particular level and i do not want answer again for this level because agar aap dekho 
दो नोड आपस में सिबलिंग है ट्वेंटी एंड थर्टी अगर थर्टी विजिबल है तो डेफिनेटली उस लेवल पर जो बाकी नोट वो विजिबल नहीं होंगे करेक्ट दट इज मार्किंग मैक्स रिक्वेस्ट में लेवल एट ईच एंड एवरी पॉइंट वेर वी आर गेटिंग दी आंसर ठीक है आगे बढ़ते हैं इंट्रेशन में सो नाउ द फर्स्ट थिंग इज दैट वी विल कॉल फॉर दी राइट चाइल्ड राइट सो वी विल कॉल फंक्शन ऑफ थर्टी कॉम अ लेवल प्लस वन सो वॉट इज लेवल इयर इट इज वन राइट सो इट विल पास वन प्लस वन दैट इज टू अगेन आई विल कंपेयर माई मैक्स लेवल एंड लेवल इट डज इट सेटिस्फाई इन इक्वालिटी और नॉट सो लेवल इज नाउ वॉट टू करेक्ट एंड मैक्स लेवल वॉज अगेन अपडेटेड टू वन Since it's a global variable, so across the recursive stack, the value will be taken as the updated one for the max level, right? So it will be pointed as one, and again, it it is it satisfies the inequality. And what I will say, the next sequence of statement would be that you need to add this thirty in your answer. So I will just say add thirty, and I will move ahead, marking the max level equals to level, and level is nothing but equals to two. So max level will also be pointing to at this point of interval. Okay. What next? So we have done this thing. Now the function call will goes back to again to its right. So thirty right, it, it's now right. So it will return. So this statement is executed for this function of thirty, and then you need to move. You need you need to make another recursive call that is in the right. So the right of thirty is what null again. So we have a condition if it is root equals equals to null, we do not have to do anything. Just return from there. Stop the recursion. Correct. So we return it from here. Now the parent call goes back to which function? Which function? 30 का जो कॉल था लेफ्ट एंड राइट एग्जीक्यूट हो जाएगा जो 10 का जो पहला कॉल था जो हमने ये लगाया था तो इसका एक दूसरा कॉल भी होगा दैट इज टुवर्ड्स द लेफ्ट एंड द लेफ्ट चिल्ड्रन इज नथिंग बट 20 राइट सो 20 कॉमा अगेन लेवल प्लस 1 सो फॉर दिस पर्टिकुलर रिकर्सिव कॉल द लेवल वाज पॉइंटिंग टू 1 सो आई विल से 1 प्लस 1 व्हिच विल गिव यू एस 2 अगेन आई विल आई विल चेक दैट मैक्स लेवल इज इक्वल्स टू लेवल और नॉट राइट सो एमएल एमएल इज व्हाट हियर ML is now updated to two because since a global variable, so I will take the updated value. So it is two, and level is what? Level is not a global variable, so I will take the value from its function parameters. So it is one. No, so it is two here. It's two, right? So it will say it does not satisfy the inequality, and that is how it is making sure that once you have taken the element from that particular level, you do not have to take it again. That is ensured by using this one extra extra variable that is a max level. That is a global variable, right? Okay. Let us move ahead. So if its statement does not execute, and then twenty will give a call to its right children, and that right children of twenty is nothing but fifty, and I will do level plus one again. So the current level is pointing to what two? So I will pass three. Correct. So now if statement will be compared again, and if you see now, you can understand that this fifty will be included in your answer. So again, I will compare max level and level, right? So what is level pointing to? Level is pointing to three, and what is max level pointing to? It is again. It is the updated value for max level is two, right? So I will say two, uh, two, three, uh, three is shorter than any. So definitely three is greater than two, and you can say that this inequality is satisfied, and you need to add this fifty in your answer. So I will say add fifty here and make a recursive call in the right again for this node fifty. So the right children of this node fifty is again null, so it will recur back to its parent call, and then the next call, the next recursive call is for its right child. So again it will go for right of fifty, which is again null. It recurs back again, and now the Uh, the call is go call back to the parent that is to this fifty, right? So let me just scroll it down a bit. Okay. So for this for this twenty, ah, uh, the right call is finished. I need to complete the call for the left child. That is, I will need to complete the call for the function of node forty, and uh, yes. So not here. Let me not uh, draw the line here. Instead, if I draw a line here, it will make more sense. Yes. Here I will say function of forty, comma level was point uh, actually point to two for this recursive call. So I will say level plus one that is three. Again the max level and level would be compared. The level is actually pointing to what three and the max level here the max level was already updated to level that was three, right? So again the updated value of max level is three. So this inequality does not satisfy and we will not add this particular node in our answer. I will do a recursive call for its right child. Then I will do a recursive call for its uh, left child, and both of them will return from this uh, recursive call, and the uh, and the call goes back to its parent again, right? And the call goes back to its parent again. So now all the recursive call have been made successfully. We have traversed each and every children here, so that's great. Okay. So what are the what are the values that we have added? So first, as you can see, we have added forty here. Let me use a different color. Let me use a red color. So first, we have added ten here, right? So answer ten, and then answer th the the thirty node is added, and then wherever the add is called, so add is called here. Answer uh, the fiftieth node is 
uh, added in the answer. As you can see, this is actually your answer for this particular tree 10, 30, and 40, right? So I hope this code makes sense to you, this approach makes sense to you, why we are making a global variable of a max level and why we are comparing it for each and every recursive call if that max level is uh, less than to your current level, right? Now please pause this video here and it is highly encouraged for you guys to so please draw a few more examples for this uh, question and yes, let us move back to the code editor now. Okay, one question for you guys. So what if, can we, uh, what are the changes that you need to make in this question if this uh, uh, your objective was to achieve a left order traversal, right? Then definitely, we need the right answer say so that is why we did a recursive call for right first. If you would have wanted the left order traversal in the left order traversal, then this statement will be your first statement and this statement to be executed as your second statement. Rest, everything remains same. I hope that makes sense to you. Let us get back to the code later again and code this approach. Okay, so that's the C++ code for the first approach I have not shown you, so I am showing it, in, it to you now. The same code is there, let me just scroll it down. As you can see, compilation is passed successfully, that's great. Let us switch back to the Java code again and code the second approach. So, okay, it's it's actually the second approach, uh, which I have mentioned in the C++ code. As you can see, there is a vector int result, there is a global variable int max level, right? And the same thing is going as we have discussed in the dry run. So if there's a if else comparing if the max level is less than your current level, then we need to push it in the queue else we do not need to. So compilation and uh, compilation has been passed successfully. Let us hit the submit button for this particular code. Great. All the test cases has been passed successfully for this method too. Let me show you the Java code for the method too now. Okay. So that's the Java code here. I don't think a walkthrough is needed, but still we have made an add list here and a global variable max level. Uh, it's actually global to this function and not global to this particular right view function. So we just need a global variable res with respect to this helper function, right? We are, where we are actually making the recursive call in the root in the left and the right direction. And that is it. There's the same if and else. Compilation has been passed successfully again. Let us hit the submit button now. Great. As you can see, the compilation and sub submission has been passed successfully. Let us analyze the time complexity now. So what is the time complexity? That we are visiting each and every node once, right? So that definitely the time complexity would be O of n. Definitely time complexity would be O of n. But what can we comment about the space complexity, right? So in the space complexity, if you see, what is the maximum number of recursive calls that you are storing in the recursive stack? So what you, what you, what you need to do is that we are at this uh, node 10, at the root node, and we went to the right. And let's just suppose there were more nodes in the right than you would have gone in that particular right direction. And as soon as the right node ends, we will just recur back to it parent. So I can say that the maximum recursive call would be for this particular question would be the height of tree. Correct? Let's say there was a skew tree A, B, C, and D. So definitely the right will be no children. It will go to the left and then again right, again left, right? So definitely I can say the maximum recursive call would be equals to the O of height of the tree. Okay, so that's it for this today's question and I hope we were able to cover the, both the problems that is the left view and the right view of the binary tree. So simultaneously, there is a problem. I will mention the link for this uh, left view as well in the description. Do try this question. I have explained uh, all the two methods that you need to that you need to change in the function to work it for the le left order traversal, left view traversal as well. So that's it. Let us end this video here. We'll meet again in the tomorrow's video of this current playlist and then keep learning, keep going. Bye bye and take care guys.